Okay, you hear me do this every so often. Graphic warning. Blink, 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 blink. Okay, you've been warned. There's some really gross stuff I'm about to talk about. It's important because it's really part of this case with Lori Vallow. I mean, her daughter was dismembered and burned and buried in pieces. And it is part of the, the actual trial testimony and evidence in this case. Um, so the fact that there's a grave digger uh, and a guy who's kind of familiar with bodies um, as part of this case makes this a topic that needs to be discussed. So fair warning, we're gonna talk about it because it's really not easy to do this. You hear about it in Hollywood, you hear about it in the movies, you hear about it on the news. Somebody was killed and dismembered and, and you know, et cetera. It is not easy to do it. And I'll tell you what else is not easy, burning a body. No, you don't just start your campfire and burn a body. It doesn't work that way. It is far more complex than that. And I wanna bring in someone who knows a lot more about it than I do, Dr. Jan Garavaglia. You know her as Dr. G, medical examiner on the Discovery Channel. She's also the author of the book, How Not to Die, Surprising Lessons on Living Longer, Safer and Healthier. Dr. G, you know, it's almost as though it becomes white noise when you hear somebody was murdered and dismembered. But the truth is, the way Ty Lee was dismembered and, and disposed of, it is not an easy process. It's not as though you can just take the kitchen knife and finish the job, is it? Right. It's, it is a very difficult process. And actually, what they testified to today that um, Laurie told her was that it was messy and there's a lot of blood and it involves bleach and plastic bags. And that's true. Uh, you know, you have five liters of blood, that still goes, goes out of your body even after you're dead and they try to dismember you. And unless you have a very sharp knife or a bone saw, um, a hacksaw, uh, or a hatchet, it's very difficult to do. And, um, and it takes a lot of time. Okay, well, I'm glad that you brought those tools up because those tools were actually brought up in the evidence of this case. The FBI expert said that the tools that were used in the dismemberment of Ty Lee were in fact a knife, a hatchet, a cleaver, a machete, or something similar. But even with those tools, if you don't know what you're doing, will it be obvious to the medical examiner that whoever did this was just blindly going about this work? Well, from the testimony of the anthropologist, there were a lot of cut marks that appeared to be that they didn't know what they were doing. Cut marks in the abdomen, uh, cut marks around the pelvis. It's, you're, you're not going to separate the pelvis with a knife. Uh, so it's usually around the joints as she testified to. And uh, she was in so many pieces, uh, it must have been really chopped after, uh, after they you know, did the cutting. Can I also ask you about the length of time? Because I think we're gonna get some testimony about the number of hours that certain people's phones were in certain people's locations, right? Um, at the time that, that Tylee was last seen, uh, and JJ of course wasn't dismembered, but was wrapped up and disposed of that way. How long would it actually take someone, again, not someone like you who knows what you're doing, someone who has no clue how to dismember a body, how long would it actually take them in say like a bathtub setting or a crude setting? I would say it would take me hours. Um, and I'm not saying I'm an expert on dismemberment because that's not something I routinely do in my autopsies, uh, but it's very difficult. It's difficult to, to open up a joint and, to, and, to, and disarticulate it. It's difficult. Uh, that would take hours and uh, in a bathtub, it's even harder. And you are right. You are not an expert in dismemberment, without question. Um, I only think that you know a lot more what's under the skin than than uh, the rest I, of us uh, do. But I've seen quite a few. you've seen a few. Okay. The other question is about burning. I've spoken with death does, death investigators before who enlightened me that it is not as simple as tossing the body parts into the campfire. Again, you know, you need a really hot flame. As you know, uh, even cremating, you still have the, the, the chunks. In this case, um, he found 
part, it, it's interesting. I, I obviously didn't see the parts and I didn't read the autopsy, but I know he did find an intact heart. He found uh, a kidney. He did find some organs. So she's not completely burned. Some of that soft tissue didn't burn. Um, I suspect that when they dismembered her, um, they probably chopped her up um, to try to get her to burn better. I, I, that's what I suspect. And then probably gave up because it wasn't working. The neighbors reported those fires were burning for a very long time at a very unusual time that was not a typical time to be burning brush. So, Dr. G, I knew you'd have the answers. Thank you so much. It's always good to see you. Will you come back again? Oh, sure. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.